Hi, I'm David Cooper from Whitley Bay Organs and E-Pianos. Today I'm going to show you this Orla Ringway RS620. We carry over 100 organs in stock between our unit in Whitley Bay, Newcastle and our showrooms in Banbury, Oxfordshire. Come in sometime and we'll show you around and get the coffee on. Let's get on with showing you this instrument. This is the RS620. Now, Orla and Ringway uh, got together. Ringway is a Chinese electronics company and Orla from Italy uh, got together with them to make this uh, very special looking instrument, very compact. Um, they used the UK branch of Orla Direct as well to put some input into it so that it suited the UK uh, customers because each country have their own sort of favourite sounds and favourite registrations. So with this particular one, they've made it suit the UK very well with nice organ sounds, some nice solo instruments, and the rhythm section is particularly suited to the kind of music we all enjoy playing. Now this is an RS620. There was an earlier model RS600. In fact, it, it badges it as an RS600, but the 620 means that we include uh, a registration stick um, put together by uh, Orla, and that means that you get a lot of the extra registrations additionally to the ones that are built into it. So let's turn, turn it on and show you what it does. We've got a nice clear blue screen here. Now when I turn it on, it automatically defaults to a set of uh, pistons down here that give us lots of registrations, set the whole instrument up. Uh, now these days, these modern organs are so much easier to use because rather than all the tabs or the buttons that you had to select with your combination, uh, the experts have made these really good sounds and I tend to use those all the time now because it makes it very easy to have a, a good setting with the balances and everything set correctly without having to try and start adjusting things for yourself. Now the way I'm going to use this is I'm going to use the fingered chords. So I'm going to play three and four finger chords and it will give me the correct bass notes. I haven't actually got to worry about the bass notes, it's a bit like playing a keyboard. If I go to lower memory, that means it will memorise the last chord I played. So I can then let go, or I can change something else if I wanted to, or putting a fill-in or uh, an alternative bass in the background. I'm also going to turn on synchro start and intro ending, and that means that it will give me a, a really good intro to suit my song. And an intro is good because it gives you the speed. You can hear the sort of tempo that the backing set to, so you know what speed to start playing the song as well. So number 16 is on. It's like a uh, sort of Dixieland jazz, which I do like. The other thing to tell you is that the um, sounds have all got an extra element to them. Unlike most organs, the lower keyboard on here is five octaves, 61 notes, and the right-hand section is actually allocated to the lead voice for all of these registrations. So um, although I've got an organ sound or a sound set up on the whole of the upper keyboard, a different voice has been programmed for this top right-hand two octaves, and that means I can play and change between two sounds without having to press loads of buttons. So it does make it very, very easy. Let's get on with it. So the first one, number 16, we've got it selected. I've got all my buttons pressed, synchro starts on. I'll play my first chord and you'll get an idea how I can use these two sections for different voices. Here we go. Variation. I've got a pitch bend. good first sound. That's number 16 of this set of just really good registrations. And number 15, 15 is another big band one. It's good for the sort of Glenn Miller in the mood. It's quite upbeat. So let's put the intro on again. <laughs>
really big sound, isn't it? It's really great. Next one on here is uh, number 14, and that's going to give me a uh, Moonlight Serenade sort of sound. It's a Glenn Miller sound, so I do like this one. First chord again. Didn't do my intro, did I? Let's try that again. So intro on. Good sound. Number 13 is a nice one. Number 13 is ideal for a stranger on the shore. So let's go into number 13. Again, I'm going to use my intro and I'm going to apply. So number 12 is set for a really nice Latin sound. Let's put that on now. We hear the guitars coming through in the background, if you listen. Long intros again. <laughs> Eleven's nice, but it's that Mantovani string sound. If we go to number eleven here, and again I'll listen to the big sounds.
So again, another nice sound. That's got the accordion down here in the lower area. So this lower section is quite useful just to have another alternative sound that and to let go and change everything. You just go and play on this bottom right hand side of the keyboard. Okay. Another one I've got here is number 10. Number 10 is a, a really nice jazz guitar and it's ideal for something like Wave or Girl from Ipanema. Let's put on number 10 here. We'll listen to the intro. Very easy, just easy to just go straight down to this flute down here, as well as some of these nice big jazz guitar sounds and the lovely accompaniment with the guitars playing. So very, very easy instrument. And that's what I've found all along is playing this. Because you're using the presets, it's just ready to play. You find your song, you find the suitable settings from the list. You get a, a load of lists we give you with um, all the different settings in the different areas of the presets and you can find one that suits your song and it's just ready to go. So again, a very easy organ to use and a lot of these modern organs now are making it very simple to get a really good setting without too much effort. Now then, let's go to another sound. Um, there's a sound I can't really play now. Number nine is um, suitable for that Santana, that guitar sound. So if I play my introduction, you'll get an idea. <laughs> improvement but um, you get the gist of it it's a really good um, really good electric guitar sound uh, now another one to go for number six on here is lovely for Misty so I'm going to play the song Misty intro synchro start first chord nice soft backing good sax Nice five phone. Again, a really, really good setting, and I, I use in this lower keyboard. It, it's not something I've done before on organs, but I am finding it a very good way to have an alternative sound. And again, with these presets, it makes it very quick to get a good, a good suitable setting. The last one I've got on here is number five, which is really good for my way, and um, it's just got a really nice soft backing to it. There's a really lovely grand piano as our solo instrument. Uh, let's go to the introduction. It was synchro start, first chord. Thank you. 
setting. And, and again, I do keep saying it, but all the way along here is just really easy settings. Now, on top of the ones that we've used so far, there are four more sets of these, which are within the instrument when you buy it from the factory. And these are sets of uh, different types of sounds. Some of them are organ sounds, some of them are orchestral string sounds, solo instruments. So you can get a, a different batch to suit um, a different sort of music you might want to play. So let's just go to a couple more just to give you an idea. I've got um, to select the third batch, which um, we do pressing the shift button, we press number three and that loads them in. So instead of giving me all those ones I've just shown you, there's now a different set in all these buttons. If I go to number 12, this will give me a, a, a nice ensemble string sound and it will give me a Viennese waltz. So if I play my rhythm section now, it was a different setting. We played a, a bossa nova Marialina before. So we're gonna to go to the uh, introduction and I'll play my chord. And there's my waltz now. my Viennese waltz. And of course there's a really good organ section on here too. The, one of the batches of 16 is purely organ sounds. Uh, Reg Rawlings who does all the samples for um, the organs for lots of keyboards and organ companies has done a set to help with this. So um, we've got the organ sounds. <laughs> Jazz. And we can go through all of them. Theatre. Chapel Oak. And a really good cathedral organ on the end. the depth just from this one note. And the echo. You get all the ambience as well of the, of the cathedral. So really good full settings. And there's another section with theatre, with more detailed theatre organs. So lots and lots of sounds built into it. Another great one in this third section is called um, Broadway. So if we go to uh, number 10, and I put my style on again. Endings are brilliant. <laughs> so
So with all these, we've got loads and loads of presets. There's five sets of 16 that are in it from the factory. And then we give you another memory stick and that's going to give you another six sets of 16. So you've got loads of really good settings all made up for you. The cabinet on here is very, very small. If we put this down, you can see it's a very neat little uh, shiny black cabinet. It's all in this polyester finish. Nice matching bench all in polyester too. You've got 20 bass pedals. The lower keyboard is five octaves, 61 notes. So you can play, you can play piano style even if you wanted to. It's got a good amount of notes to spread out on. And you can make your own registrations. So if you do like to fiddle and adjust things, you can make your own registrations and you can memorize them into the different buttons and then you can store them in and have a batch of your own settings. You can also record yourself. You have here a recording section where you can um, save things that you've played into it. So you can, you can use it for lots of different ways to record your own music, to play back pre-recorded MIDI files, or to use your registrations from the buttons. And, and you can put all the sounds in different areas together to make your own variations. But the ones that are in it are so good. And that's the thing I found is that a lot of uh, uh, modern instruments now, they're giving you lots of presets to make it easy to get a good sound. And that's certainly something you can do with this model. It's the Aula Ringway RS620 and it's a great instrument. Mm -hmm.